Shawty fat, slim, thick. She might drug, she might fix. And I'm all up in her mix. She be mixing with the. With the I gotta choose someone. So it must be her. She been here since day one. What is up guys, welcome back or welcome if you are new to my channel. In today's vid, I'm going to teach you how to roll a joint if you don't already know. And then we're just going to have a little smoke sesh, which is obviously going to be my favorite part of this video. But if you already know how to roll a joint, you can skip through that part, but let's get into this shit. You're going to need a filter. Um, when it comes to rolling a joint, you most definitely want to grind up your weed because if there are stems in that shit, you're fucked. These are one and a quarter inch joint papers. These are from Glass Lung. I actually really like these papers, but you can use whatever paper if you want. You're gonna load in the weed just like you would pretty much with anything else, except if you're rolling a joint, you don't want to like fill one side up all the way with the weed. That's where your filter is gonna go. Just kind of push it in there. And what I like to do, I try not to get any weed under it just for like aesthetic purposes. It looks a lot better if you can roll it without any weed under that filter, but you know. I like to push the weed up to my filter once I get this part. And then I just fold it over. And this is really the rolling part. You just kind of pinch it downwards. I don't know how to explain this. You just have to watch somebody's fingers do it. It's really not hard. It literally is exactly what it looks like I'm doing. That's all you do. So I tucked it. And I'm going to lick that glue strip across the top. And then you can just roll it on over. So I grabbed this little stick. Um, not really what I recommend to roll a joint. Honestly, get a clipper tool. Like, just pull it out of your lighter. I actually have a clipper lighter out here. I'm a dumbass, but um, I've got a stick. So that's what we're going with. Once you get to here, it's really personal preference. If you just want to leave it like that, you could fill it a little bit more. Um, you don't honestly even have to fill it that much. You can twist it off at any point, but. All right, so I hope you guys could kind of at least see what I was doing if my little instructions didn't make sense. But um, yeah, rolling a joint is pretty simple. You have to be kind of delicate because it's literal paper that's like super fucking thin, but it's not too bad. Practice makes perfect. Don't expect to get it your first time ever rolling a joint. If you guys do roll one up, feel free to DM me a picture of what you guys rolled on Insta. I love when you guys do that. The strain of butt in this, I don't think I mentioned it, is 707. I'm gonna try and get a thumbnail really quick. Sorry, I'm a fucking child. So, my boyfriend interrupted me because he thought he needed to tell me this story about this roofer that was on heroin. He got this story told to him today at work, so he came home and told me it, and then I completely lost my train of thought, so I had no idea what I was even going to say. I already said the strain name, but this bud is actually pretty fucking good. So I picked up three strains. So that's what I have right now. I have 707 Blue Cookies and Mimosa. And I've been wanting to smoke them all separately to really get a feel for them. Cause I feel like a lot of the times I just throw like a couple nugs of each in my grinder and I'm like, bet. Do you guys prefer joints or blunts? I feel like I ask that a lot, but um, Joints are definitely not my favorite, just because I feel like they do go out a lot, which is kind of a hassle, and they're just like, I don't know, they're really easy to fuck up if you don't, like, if you haven't rolled a lot of them before, if that makes sense. And blunts, I really like. I don't like the, like, tobacco aspect of it. Like, I mean, I know it's bad for you, and they hit your throat a little bit harder, but, like, I love blunts. Like, blunts are my shit. 
but I think I really like hemp wraps. Like that's a really good like medium, you know, the, there's no tobacco. They have a really good flavor. Most of the time, a little bit stronger flavor than like a Swisher, like a Willow would. And yeah, I think I like hemp wraps. They burn pretty well most of the time, but they're fat. Like you're wrapping an eighth up in like a full size hemp wrap if you're gonna fill it. I think hemp wraps are literally like, they say they're Willow size, but they have to be almost double. They're big. Speaking of which, I haven't smoked a hemp wrap all fucking quarantine, which is insane. That's the longest I think I've went probably in like a year of not smoking a hemp wrap. I feel like I normally smoke them because they come in my daily high club box, like especially. If you guys watched the Wake and Bake video I filmed, I was talking about how I am still going to do like an unboxing video. It's not just going to be daily high club. Daily high club, I don't know. I like their boxes. They're really bad about shipping shit out. Not just like quarantine, like the quarantine I understand, but the last like year I've been subscribed to Daily High Club, all my boxes never come. Like on the 20th, it's like the date they're supposed to have everything like shipped out by or like send you your tracking or like pretty much your confirmation. And they never, like, hardly ever do. Like, I almost always have to email them and say, hey, is, like, my box still coming? Or is, like, something wrong? And they're like, oh, yeah, it is. Blah, blah. And it's like, I don't know. I've just had a lot of shit happen with Daily High Club. And if I didn't, like, think the boxes were quality, I really, like, I'm thinking about unsubscribing. But I really like the pieces. It's just, like, I never get them. Like, everybody else will have their box, like, literally a month before me. Like, that's insane. But that video is going to have a couple like different subscription boxes in it and I think that'll be really like fun. I think it'll be a cool video. Guys, I've literally had this jacket for so long. I love this jacket. It's massive, like extra large type shit. But it's cute. I like this and I like that the inside is this because I have vans that like the top of them match this. I don't know. I just like really big oversized shit. I'm really sorry. I know you can hear my neighbor's music. You might not be able to once I put like my own music over it, but all right. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this big old ramble smoke session, but if you needed to learn how to roll a joint, I hope you got your purpose out of this video <coughs> you probably didn't all right so if you guys enjoyed the video make sure to drop a like if you are new here make sure to subscribe i post videos four to five times a week every monday wednesday friday saturday and then sometimes a video on sunday and if you want a little bit more content to keep up with me day to day you can check out my instagram my instagram's a really good time i hope to see you guys over there and i hope to see you guys in my next vid peace love you stay safe Bitch, move for a team. That bitch, move for a team.